Mayor and Council, it's the same ask. I'm not picking on Freeze and Nichols today, but they are on the agenda. They're getting two sweet deals, great contracts. They're very capable, but they're also very generous givers to political campaigns. So I'm going to ask you on behalf of everyone in the room and everyone that watches this afterwards, if you receive or plan to receive Freeze and Nichols money, it'd be kind of handy to disclose that before you vote and give them another contract. A motion, Council. Motion a second. Thank you. Any other discussion? Please vote. Jared. Leonard, sorry. Motion carries. I was wrong, everyone. I apologize, Mayor. There are three measures where Freeze and Nichols gets giant contracts. Same mask. Uh, be accountable and transparent. You can raise your hand because in this kind, this part of the meeting, you're allowed to respond to the public. So feel free to raise your hand if you've received donation funds from Freeze and Nichols in the last couple of cycles. Can't please. Thank you. Please vote. Motion carries. Adrian Smith, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Truly, 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 it's appalling that I wasn't even aware what these ladies would be speaking on or this gentleman because it's not before the people. And we're supposed to speak on these items when these items are presented. But for those who have a um, printout, the item I'm speaking on is MMC 230316, page 8 of 15. And the, what I have presented to you all are people, People's Exhibit B and A. This particular, um, I believe, contract that is to be voted on by this council, this particular uh, business entity, I believe it is, called Freeze and Nichols, has given campaign contributions to two of our council members. So to me, and I'm not the sharpest tool in the book, or the smartest kid in class, that seems like there would be some type of conflict of interest. Somebody help me, those who know governance. So they operate as a pack, but Exhibit B is going to uh, District 9, which is Beck's, uh, Council Mormon Beck's district, and Exhibit A under there is our, our mayor. So my, thing, my question to this council is, is this how we do things? I see the laughter, Mr. Nettles. I don't know if what I'm saying is funny, but know that people are watching. Ms. Beck, know that people are watching. If this is how we do business here in Fort Worth, I want the people of Fort Worth to realize the time that we are currently in. The days are counting down. And I can't say for what, because they'll say I'm up here doing something that I don't have no place in doing. But I think y'all get the gist of what I'm saying. But to the council, it smells, it smells bad, and it looks bad. To the people, this is your city hall, and we need to restore the will of the people back to this city hall. To the media, if you're listening, Fort Worth Star Telegram, and any other media outlets, it's your job to keep the people informed about the business of this city. To the staff, I truly, truly, my heart's go out to you, you all, because I know you all do your, your due diligence to make this council shine bright. But week after week, it's, it's just saddening. And as I take my seat, I got one more thing to speak on. I'll be back. Ms. Carolina Rodriguez is next. <laughs> 